I do realize that I was very quiet. Um, I was coming off of a cold, but I made myself make the video because I knew that if I didn't, I wouldn't. So I do appreciate the feedback and I will speak up to make sure that you can hear me. So hello, I am Sabrina Gwynn. I am a clinical herbalist with 10 years of experience in the holistic health world. And I am making this series, What the Heck, to help simplify terms in the alternative medicine world. So come along with me as I dive in and let's simplify these words to help you go from overcomplication to understanding. And today we're gonna to talk about what the heck is an herbalist. So I really like a definition I found on Surehire. It says, an herbalist is an alternative medicine practitioner that specializes in the use of plants for medicinal purposes. Based on the relationship between plants and people, an herbalist makes use of plants and specific plant parts to treat and prevent issues. An herbalist works to optimize health using a holistic approach to healing the body. An herbalist can also be called an herbal practitioner. So great, right? But like, what does that mean? Um, so when I say I'm an herbalist to most people, they give me random things like, oh, so you're a nutritionist. Do you deal cannabis? Are you a witch doctor? And uh, it kind of is those things and it kind of isn't. So I'm going to try to just kind of work that out a little bit. So first, for clarification, I am not a nutritionist. That is a trained profession. I do hold a diploma in nutrition for many courses I've taken online, but I am not a nutritionist. I find nutrition to be very, very important in a wellness plan because our body relies on specific nutrients and minerals to be able to heal. And so they, it is very important when healing. But an herbalist is not a nutritionist. And so then for which doctor, one doctor in general is a no, 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 no. An herbalist is not a doctor. Um, it does not imply that they are a doctor or that they've gone to medical school. And so unless you have gone to medical school, done the internship and taken this test to become an MD, you are not a doctor. However, there are doctors, nurses, different practitioners in the medical field who are herbalists, but herbalist does not equal doctor. And then for the clinical part of my title, that just means that I've worked in a clinical setting where people come in and bring their ailments and we work together to make a wellness plan to help them heal. And we create protocols and then we follow up with it and make sure how you're doing and check up on you. But again, not a doctor. And as for the witch part, I am an avid believer in the unknown in magic, but I can't speak for all herbalists. So I cannot say that they are witches or doctors or witch doctors, <laughs> but I do see myself as a magical being. And so not a doctor, not a nutritionist, but someone who cares really deeply about helping heal the body through natural processes. And we use things like wellness plans, meditation, yoga, exercise, breathing techniques, modifying your diet, and of course, adding in some herbs. Like any profession, it takes years of studying and practice. And there are a lot of people who portray herbalism and there are different ways of doing it. And then there are well-intentioned individuals who spread misinformation by being overzealous about something they read, which then turns into not understanding if it's really safe and how you can use it in your daily life. So one of my favorite quotes by my mentor and teacher, Bob Lindy, is, there is a lot of interest in herbs. Unfortunately, not a lot of interest in herbalists. And what that is intended to highlight is that it's super amazing that people are interested in deepening their connection with plants and using them to help themselves heal. But there are people like myself and others who have spent years studying and understanding people and herbs and how they work together. And it's a nice bonus to have us help you figure out which ones will work for you and which ones won't. Plants have many different uses and each herbalist is unique in their approach through their experience, their training, and it's just really nice to have someone with you to help you learn and tell you when something wouldn't really be appropriate for you. And instead of trying everything in the kitchen and then saying it's too hard or it doesn't work, you just have someone on your side. And then a good herbalist eventually just teaches you how to use the plants yourself. So you can build your confidence working with plants and hopefully one day help others as well um, know what to do with plants and heal themselves. 
So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and ask away. We all learn by asking questions, and I'm an avid believer that we're never done learning. So I don't know everything, and I don't claim to, so I'll learn along with you anytime we have any questions to go over. So please ask away, and please subscribe so that you can come on along with me on this journey, and we can continue to break down what the heck is these terms in the medical, I'm sorry, alternative medical field. And so next in the series is what the heck is energetics? Until next time, be well, stay herbaceous, and happy healing.